morning everyone and happy valentine's day to you all i hope you're having a lovely wonderful day i've been very spoiled um it's just a lovely day <clears throat> today but you should show your love every day i must tell you that okay so because it's valentine's day i am going to do a spot prize giveaway and the giveaway that i'm going to do is this gift box which i'm going to make now as a tutorial um i'm going to fill it with goodies and give it away as a spot prize and i will reveal <coughs> excuse me the um person who is going to receive it at the end of this video and you will see why by the time we get to the end of the video so if you watched my video yesterday you would have seen <coughs> excuse me the decoupage box that i had made for another um happy mail um, so I'm going to do exactly the same thing, show you how easy it is to turn a very plain box into a beautiful gift box. And it really is super fast. So this is a tutorial, but also the spot prize giveaway that I promised you yesterday. So um, for this, you will need a plain box. Now, this is just one I picked up from the scrap store, but I know that you can actually you know get these in most of your craft stores they'll probably be different sizes but same concept so you'll just need a box and a decorative napkin uh pva glue i'm using mod podge or pva would do just as well you need a um brush and then something <coughs> excuse me to to um decorate it with as well which i'll show you the bits that i'm using later so firstly all i've done is I'm going to take, <clears throat> excuse me, um, losing my voice already and I haven't even started. We're just going to take this napkin and I'm just going to cut this in. This has actually been cut in half because it's the other half of the one I used the other day. So we're just going to, so it's in quarters because this particular napkin had this design on four times now most napkins are two ply or three ply this is two ply and an easy trick to get your um, layers off is to just get some scotch tape or washi tape and just do that and as you'll see look -da, how easy is that and then it doesn't rip um, your napkin super fast one of my subbies gave me that tip because I used to struggle 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 I can't remember who so lovely subby out there who gave me that tip I do remember it and thank you for that so it doesn't matter really um if it doesn't cover the whole box because we can use other bits of the napkin um on that and then we do just take your bottom off there get your mod podge out or your pva I have to get some more actually because I don't have an awful lot left. And what we're going to do is we're just going to cover the top first with this. And um, with the Mod Podge or the PVA, like I said, will work um, just as well. And just literally cover that over. Don't get too mad, but just make sure um, that you cover it. And then you are going to lay the part of the design that you want let me just put my brush down for a second <clears throat> on the box so I'm going to just put this down up there and then just smooth it out but don't worry if you do get wrinkles in it it just kind of adds to your box and then what you need to do is just take your glue and just cover it again just to Um, just to hold that down I mean it would stay down but it gives it a lovely um, effect on the top of it so just make sure that you cover it all over and then what you're going to do <clears throat> what I do is just get my scissors and I'm going to come in and just um, how did I do this? I literally come in at the corner. I don't know if you can see that on on shot in shot and cut up to the corners there. And 
and it doesn't matter if you're not you know completely precise um because you can then cover it over after you've done it so then <coughs> excuse me you need to take your glue and cover the side Ooh, I think I put too much on there then a little bit too much going on and then you need to smooth this down and like I said look I've got wrinkles in it it does not matter in fact I quite like it with um, the odd wrinkle going on there did I cut that corner I did and then you're just going to work your way around the box covering all of the sides now I'm going to just come in and take that bit in and then come in and oh look we didn't do that one <clears throat> and it does dry pretty quick as well so you don't have to wait too long to come back and decorate it I'm going to do this and then I'm going to um, pause the camera whoops get over there and you know really this is a super fast project for you all and I am so into my decorative napkins at the minute. I love them. Can't get enough of them. I'm going to lift that up and just bring that in. Like that. So you have all of your sides oops, done. Now, don't worry about that bit that's not covered because I'm going to come in and I'm going to cut some more napkin up to cover that bit. Now, oops, I'm just going to smooth that over and I'm just going to put this down just for a second. Now, as far as the other bits, don't worry, you can cut them off when you are done now what you need to do is just cut some bits for the uh, let's just do I think this should be big enough just going to cut a piece down to size we'll just cut that down a bit that'll do and get my piece of tape I love this trick. Look, that is so easy. Look, oh, just love it. Oops. Love it, love it, love it. I'll make sure you do it on the wrong side of your um, napkin because it, it can rip a little bit. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cover this with this piece like so and then you can come in and cut that down um, when it's dried so that's that bit done and then we've just got to cut a bit down for this side um, so we might get away with hmm. Is that small enough? I'm going to try this bit here and see if it will do. I think it will actually. <coughs> oh. It does work look I love that trick absolutely love it <laughs> love it love it love it 
Right, so we're just going to do this last um, side. Oh, get some glue on my brush. And then I'm just going to put this last little bit. Great way to use up your scraps of napkin as well. Because, you know, if you didn't even have a bit, <clears throat> excuse me, big enough, you could just decoupage it with bits and pieces of napkins. So what I'm going to do, that is um, glued down. So, oops, I'm just going to try, oh look, it doesn't matter, it's half dry now anyway. I'm just going to try and smooth that down. And then what I should do is leave that to dry. And I shall come back um, when that's completed and show you how to tidy it up and how we're going to distress it and then decorate it. See how quick that is? Super fast. So I will be back in a bit when this is completely dry. Okay, so I took a break and I've come back and this is all dry. So just going to show you. Um, oh, where's my scissors gone? Okay, I'm just going to grab my scissors. And all we're going to do is we're just going to get rid of all these um, ends here. Now, I can't find my nail file, but you can. I have seen other um, YouTubers actually get a nail file and file it off um, of projects, which might make it a bit easier, but never mind, we'll do it this way. I'm just going to cut along here. And trim this end up. And um, don't forget, this is actually for my spot prize giveaway, even though I'm going to be a late. Oh, actually, look, you could just rip it, but I'm going to actually go and cut in there. This is for the spot prize giveaway, and if you keep watching to the end, you will see who I'm going to give this away to. Um, for those of you that are not up to speed, I did promise the other day that... Um, I would do a spot price giveaway this week to um, someone who has commented on one of my videos. So that is what I'm going to do. Right, okay, so we've got some little bits still left on here. And as you can see, this is such an easy, quick project. The bit that takes the longest is waiting for it to dry, but it isn't that long. And you could actually um, get your heat tool out. So what I do is just come in here and cut this away. Oops, last time I did it, it was a bit easier. It's because I'm on camera. Look, it's actually easier to just rip it. Actually, I think it is easy to do it that way around there. Look, and oops, I've got a little bit left on there. making it all look very difficult it's not <laughs> honestly it's not difficult i'm just being a twit there you go there you go so that is all tidied up and put my scissors away and um, what we're going to do is we're going to just decorate this which takes seconds <clears throat> now i have a flower there let me just put these bits away um, put my mother podge over there. I'm just going to take my distress ink and oh, not put that there. I'm just going to distress this around. And just do it all around the edges. Look at that, it looks just so distressed and old and love it. These napkins are gorgeous. I might have to get some more of these, I think, because I really do love the colours on this. Look how lovely that is. Um, so we have distressed it. 
And then what I'm going to do, that's the flower I want to use. So I'm just going to give that a little bit of distress on the edge of the flower there. And give that a little bit of distress look. And then I'm going to grab some lace, I think. I'm going to put a bit of lace underneath the flower. Just grab my scissors here and cut a bit off. <clears throat> I just want like a little bit just on the edge there. I just kind of want it on the corner, so like that. So let me just, I'm going to cut this at an angle. And I think we're just going to pop that down there, put that there. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to sort of give this a little bit of a distress as well, because it's a bit too um, clean looking. We need to give it a little bit of a distress look. I'm going to take my... Fabri-Tac. Oh, come on. This one's running out now. Okay. I'm going to put this down on here. And then we can always put a bit more down. Okay, my camera actually cut out. <laughs> so I had, um, I think the last bit you saw was me gluing on this lace and I have just gone and glued the flower on and now I'm going to put a name on it um, to show you who has actually won um, this week's um, this, this giveaway. Now, I'm using these lovely sort of um, metal plastic, oh, hello Charles, looking letters that I picked up from one of my local stores and they're really quite inexpensive and I love them so are you ready to find out the first letter is an S Charlie not now so we're going to put this oh my goodness me where did my S go so if your name begins with an S you will be sitting tight on your oh I've got glue everywhere You'll be on the edge of your chair right now waiting. And I don't know if I said before it cut out, I am going to fill this box um, with goodies as well. So it's not just an empty box I'm going to be sending you. So the first letter is an S. So we're just going to put that on there like that. And the second letter is a U. Oh, someone out there knows that it might be them. Oh, stick that one down there. That's it. And the third letter is an E. So if your name is Sue, okay, let me tell you. I'm not going to keep you in suspense any longer. So the winner of my daily giveaway is Sue Harvey. So thank you to everyone else who has commented. Well done, Sue. If you could email me at craftfairyfreebies at um, gmail.com this box um, with your address. Send me your, your address details. I will pop this in the post. So I'm going to fill it up with... Um, I'm going to put some bold pins in here, um, some corners, some lace, some bits and pieces. So this lovely box will be filled up. So 
thank you everyone who has took part in that giveaway don't forget i've still got the weekly giveaway going if you've missed it and um you just need to be a subscriber and comment um to take part and that will be drawn on monday so that is this lovely decoupage box and also the daily giveaway so well done everyone for taking part and i shall see you all very soon won't we charlie oh you lovely He's a lovely boy. He's come to see mummy because I think he's hungry, aren't you? Your timing, Charles. <laughs> right, everyone. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.